It's February 2022, and as you've seen the last few weeks, if you've been following along with the project, the construction site at Roachport is seeing a lot of activity, even through the cold and the snow. We want to make sure you're aware of some traffic impacts that will be taking place over the next several weeks. Crews will be blasting on the east end of the river, north of the current bridge. Project director Brandy Baldwin says it will require some short-term traffic impacts, but won't pose any danger to motorists. During those times that we'll be blasting, we will be doing some rolling roadblocks in conjunction with the highway patrol. They'll be helping our contractors out with keeping the traffic slow. So expect about a 15 minute delay between the hours of 10 and 2 over the next few weeks. During the blast, we wanna make sure the road is all clear once we're complete with the blast. No rock has made its way onto the highway. We're several hundred feet away from the highway for the majority of these blasts. So that should be a, a low rate of us ever having any rock on the highway. So be sure if you're traveling through the area that you add some extra time to your commute. We'll also be posting the closure information on the traveler information map, MoDOT social media accounts, and alerting drivers through message boards on I-70. One question we often get is how this project will be impacting the Katy Trail. The popular Missouri attraction for bike riders runs along the Missouri River and runs underneath I-70 here at the bridge. While we're working to keep the trail open and accessible through the project, safety is still the top priority. So to keep the Katy Trail open when we don't need a closure, um, we will have Connex boxes down there, so big open boxes um, that you should be able to travel through safely with your bicycles and walking and whatnot. Um, to make sure you have a separation from the work area and all the pedestrians are being kept safe. And now for one final update on the bridge. The team has been driving pile. But what does that mean in terms of progress? So here recently we have started driving pile and as people drive by or check out our cameras, they'll see um, right now either big shiny pieces of four foot pipe or dull pieces of four foot pipe. Those shiny sections are in the areas that the river will keep getting it wet and dry and it's to help keep it from rusting. That shiny stuff is galvanizing on it to ensure that we're getting a hundred year bridge here. So right now um, you'll see these sticks up in the air and they'll be vibrating and hammering those in till they hit bedrock. The drill shafts that we're, we'll be starting on soon have these big rebar cages and will be drilled into bedrock and seated with these big 11 foot diameter tubes. Those are very similar to the piling. Um, the caps will set upon them as well. There's a one extra element with the drilled shafts. It's called a strut. It's a big rectangular piece that'll connect all these drilled shafts together right at the river line. And what that does is protects our bridge from any boats that may get get loose and may hit our drilled shafts. So those really help protect the structure of the bridge. That's it for this month's edition of Road to Roachport. Be sure to hit the like button if you're as excited as we are about the progress on the new bridge. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow us on social media for more updates. And you can always find live cameras, project details, and more information at modot.org slash Roachport Bridge.